one of the main reasons that I joined the Workers' Party is because of their record of fighting for peace um, across the world. And one of the m strongest ways that um, parties like the Workers' Party have done this is by opposing US imperialism um, in places like Nicaragua, in places like Venezuela, in places like Cuba and Palestine. Venezuela has provided an example to people across Latin America of how socialist policies can actually improve their lives. And this is what caused the United States um, to feel so threatened by it. Uh, inequality was reduced in the first 10 years after Chavez came to power by 50% and it became one of the um, least unequal countries in Latin America. Five times more old people have access to um, state pensions now than ever did um, before. And um, in the last seven to 10 years, um, Maduro has built more than 2 million houses, um, affordable homes built by the state for ordinary people who need them. These are massive achievements and they're not achievements that the United States wants to see on its back door. And of course, it's been absolutely clear that the economy has been deteriorating in Venezuela and that people's lives have gotten more difficult over the last few years. But it is really important that everybody in countries like Ireland understand why this has happened and what context this has happened in. Um, so since Chavez was first um, elected, there was a massive um, effort to unseat him, including a direct coup attempt in 2002 and um, many other um, attempted coups since then. And most of these were resisted because of the fact that the governments in Venezuela had such massive support. Um, unfortunately, now what we've seen is that because the opposition has been unable to unseat him previously, um, they've just gone and declared themselves as the legitimate president of the, the country. And that is something that has been recognized by um, the United States and its allies around the world. But the US, as well as supporting coup attempts within the country, um, has actually gone even further. It has funneled money into um, NGOs, into um, uh, to opposition parties that are friendly to the United States. And um, even more than that, in the last couple of years, it has imposed drastic financial sanctions, which have the have crippled the economy and which, in fact, would have crippled any economy around the world. It has left Venezuela in a situation where it doesn't have access to international markets, where it can't bring the profits of its own oil company back into the country. And these kinds of conditions make it almost impossible for any government to make proper decisions about how to manage its economy. So when we hear talk about the economic chaos of um, Venezuela, it's within that context that it has happened and it's within that context that we have to remember um, what kinds of measures might actually improve things for people in Venezuela. So on Monday, we're holding a demonstration, um, hands off Venezuela at the US Embassy at 5.30. Um, we're calling people to come out to show the Irish government and the American government what kind of um, policies we want the Irish government to take in relation to Venezuela. The first thing is that there should be no foreign intervention in a country like Venezuela. Um, the second thing is that we would like to see the Irish government come out and clearly support the democratically elected government of Venezuela, that is Maduro as the president of Venezuela.